What's up everyone, Mandy here from On The Grow, and today we're going to be testing out four different crops on paper towels to see how they germinate, so stay tuned for the video. The reason why we're doing this is because sometimes it can be very difficult to get some of the harder seeds to germinate evenly on this type of medium. So what we're going to be doing today is we're actually going to be taking four different types of microgreen seeds and seeing how they each germinate. So if you come in closer, we can talk about which seeds we're going to be using. On our very first tray, we're going to be using Waltham 29 Broccoli. I seeded this one with 20 grams of the seed, and broccoli usually is a seed that germinates very well and is an aggressive grower. So I'm really excited to see how this is going to work on paper towels. Next, we're leveling up a little bit, getting a little bit more difficult here, and we're going to be using Ruby Red Swiss Chard. This tray I seeded with 13 grams, and Swiss Chard, oh, let me tell you, in the past, whenever I've used hydroponic grow mats, I have had the biggest challenge with this seed. So it's gonna be really interesting to see if we can get a success out of this paper towel. Another thing that's going to be very interesting with our Swiss chard is we did not soak the seed. And usually whenever you're using a Swiss chard or a beet or something like that, you want to soak the seed if you're using a hydroponic mat. And we did not do that. <laughs> and that's actually the same for the next seed that we're using as well, which is cilantro. This is a leisure split cilantro, which means it's just a split version of the cilantro seed. And what that's supposed to do is give us a better germination rate. But generally, when you're using a mat, you want to soak it, like I said before, and we are not doing that today. Now for this tray, I have seeded it with six grams of cilantro seed. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen here. Now on to our very last tray. We are doing a more delicate crop on this, and this is going to be our red garnet amaranth. I've seeded this tray with eight grams of red garnet seed and red garnet amaranth is one of those seeds that, like I said before, is very delicate. It generally can be a little bit more hard to germinate on some mediums than others. And whenever it does germinate, it doesn't put out a whole lot of root structure. So one of the biggest challenges that we're going to have here with the red garnet amaranth is can it get its delicate little root structure through this paper towel. Something that I didn't discuss is that all of these trays each have two layers of two ply paper towel. This paper towel costs us eight cents per tray. What I need to do now is I need to water all of these seeds, get them stacked up and placed on our shelf. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. So first I'm going to start a little far away so that way these don't get everywhere. Just wanna give them a decent amount of water not too much otherwise you're gonna get a stinky smell okay. all right especially these ones you want to start far not to get them stuck Now that I'm done watering these, I'm going to strategically stack them because I know that amaranth is more delicate. I want that at the very top, whereas things like Swiss chard and cilantro, they can take a little bit more weight and those are gonna do best on the bottom. So Swiss chard is going to be our very bottom tray. And then cilantro, broccoli, and red garnet amaranth. Now all I need is my top tray and a brick, which luckily is on the shelf next to me. And our seven pound brick. Now let me place this on the shelf. Over the next few days, I will be keeping up with you guys daily and we'll take a look at these and see how they're germinating. Okay, we are on day one of this germination trial and I have unstacked all of these and put them side by side. That way we can take a peek at them. So far on my tray number one, which this is my broccoli tray, this is actually looking pretty good for day one. We're just now starting to get some of that germination. Uh, there are some areas within these clusters where I'm not seeing as much germination just yet, but I do think that that will pick up. And as for the wetness, it's actually still pretty decently damp on that. So whenever I water that, I'm only going to give it a light mist. Now on our Swiss chard. So, so far Swiss chard, not seeing a whole lot here. Um, I don't think any of these are getting any radicals that I can see yet. 
which that makes sense because usually even when I'm using cocoa coir, I don't see a whole lot happening until about day four whenever they're really out of their shell. Now for the cilantro. Cilantro does take a little longer to germinate and you can tell because right now we are not seeing a whole lot of that, but I am noticing some little thingies. I don't really know if that's the radical. I can't tell right now, but there is something beginning to happen on these seeds. So hopefully that's our germination starting. That'd be super cool to see that on our cilantro. And the amaranth so far, I think is the one that's starting to germinate the most. It's really hard to see. Oh yeah, you guys can actually see it. But you can see some of those radicals beginning to actually come out and start to go into this paper towel, which that's so cool to see because that's something that I was actually worried about. What I need to do now is I need to water these each just a little bit, get them stacked back up and put on our shelf. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will see you guys tomorrow. Today is day two of our germination trial. And what I'm going to do right now is remove this top and get these unstacked so that way we could take a better look at them. Okay, now I have these all unstacked and we can take a look at each one of them. Starting on our broccoli tray, looks like this is actually starting to germinate a little bit more than yesterday. The areas where we had big clusters that weren't germinating are beginning to germinate. And I am seeing those radicals beginning to dive into this paper towel, which is awesome to see. So this one's looking great for today. Now onto our second one, which this is our Swiss chard. So far, I still am not seeing any, oh, wait, wait, I lied. I lied, CJ pointed out one over here, which I can't see, oh, there he is, look at it. We got one that's starting to go in. I have another one over here. So it looks like we are just starting to see these beginning to germinate. And hopefully within the next like two to three days, these should look a lot crazier, which I can't wait to see. Cause if we can get these to start on paper towels, I'm gonna be so proud. <laughs> and now on to our cilantro tray. Now, let me take a closer look at this. We are beginning to see germination on the little tips here where the radicals are beginning to push out from the seed itself. So it tells me that we are getting really close to seeing this really crazy looking where it looks kind of like uh, like our first tray basically where you just see a lot of those radicals filling up the tray. So yay. <laughs> and then onto our amaranth tray. Our amaranth, amaranth tray to me is looking the best out of all these trays. It's germinating very, very well. You can see all the little root fuzzes here and all the radicals are starting to push through into the medium. I will say that right here, there is a little cluster that's a little bit behind, but it is beginning to germinate. All I need to do now is just give these each a water, stack them back up, place them on the shelf, and I will give you guys another update tomorrow. Today is day three of our germination trial for paper towels, and I've already gone ahead and unstacked these and laid them out, and that way we can take a look at all of them starting on my first tray. My first tray is my broccoli and our broccoli is looking fabulous. We're seeing really great germination and I'd say these have probably about another day or so until they're ready to go into blackout. Our second tray, which is our Swiss chard. Our Swiss chard is actually germinating, you guys. That is so cool to see. And something that some of you might not know about Swiss chard is it actually puts out multiple plants from the same seed. Like this one here is gonna have three. Onto our third tray. Our third tray is another one that I'm super excited about because our cilantro is actually germinating as well. And a lot of these radicals are pushing down into the paper towel, which means this is working so far. Onto our last tray, which is our red garnet amaranth. Our red garnet amaranth was looking great from the get-go and so far it is probably one of the more further ahead along with the broccoli. All I have left to do today is I'm just going to water all these, stack them back up, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another update. Today is day four of our paper towel germination trial and I've already unstacked all these and have them all in front of me now. Starting on our very first tray, which is our broccoli tray, so far this tray has done an amazing job with germinating and I believe we could probably see the roots already. So it means we are able to get those roots through that paper towel, which is great. And what I'll be doing today, since these are at a perfect height, is they are going to be going into blackout. Now onto our second tray. Our second tray is our Swiss chard, which these have all started to germinate, but something that I am not seeing a whole lot of is these radicals actually going into the paper towel. A lot of them are still pretty loose on the surface, but there is a few that are making it through. Oh, nope, no, no, there's not. <laughs> So we're still a little bit behind on this. And I think the problem with this 
is the weight is actually not touching this. So it's not allowing any pressure to help them get that radical into the paper towel. But we are getting germination, which that is great to see. Our third tray is our cilantro. And this cilantro is germinating all over the place. And I'd say it's kind of a mix right now. Some of them are actually going into the paper towel like this, and some of them are still right on top of this. So what I'm hoping is that they will actually grow into this a little bit further down the line. And then on to our fourth paper towel. This is our red garnet amaranth. The red garnet amaranth is doing a fantastic job here. We have great germination and we are actually seeing a ton of those roots getting through the paper towel, which is really cool since amaranth is a very delicate crop and it's doing a fabulous job on this tray. So what I actually need to do on this one, just like the broccoli tray, is it's going to be going into blackout as well. That is it for today's update. I will update you guys again tomorrow and hopefully the Swiss chard will actually be driven into the paper towel a little bit more and we can take care of this piling. Today is day number five of our paper towel germination trial and where we left off yesterday is these two went into blackout and we had two that were still stacked. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first one that is in blackout. So this is our broccoli and our broccoli is looking amazing. We got really great germination on this and I think they're still going to need about one more day of blackout until they're ready to go into the light. Now let's move on to our two that are stacked. So first let me move this out of my way. I remember yesterday we were having issues with them getting stuck into the paper towels. So I'm wondering how this is looking. It looks kind of about the same. We're getting really great germination, but they're not really going into the paper towel. And the ends of these radicals are actually beginning to brown a little bit. So that means that they are getting slightly dehydrated. And I wonder if that's because they're not getting into that grow medium where all the moisture really is at. Next tray, which is our cilantro. Once again, we're getting really solid germination on this. And I believe these are actually beginning to go into the paper towel a lot more than they were yesterday. So hopefully in the next day or two, these will actually be driven further down into it. So today for these two trays, the cilantro and the Swiss chard, I'm gonna keep them under weight for another few days until they really get into that paper towel and I actually see the microgreens start to come out. Now our very last tray, which is our second one that was in the blackout period, which is our red garnet amaranth. Today, these are looking really great. There still is this one little low spot here, but it does look like they're beginning to try to come out more. And we are seeing these driven into the paper towel. All I need to do today with this one really is water it, keep it in the blackout because it's still not quite the height that I want it. But other than that, I think it looks perfect. All I have left to do is I need to water all these get them placed back on the shelf. And I'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll take a look at these and hopefully they are ready. Today is day six of our paper towel germination trial. And today we are going to take both the broccoli and the red garnet amaranth out of blackout and put them into light. So I guess let's go ahead and take a look at each one of these real quick and that way you can get a better idea where they're at. The broccoli is doing amazing. It's still probably one of the best trays that we got out of all this. And look at all those roots that actually made it through the paper towel. That's perfect. This is going very well with this girl. I'm extremely happy with that one. And with our red garden amaranth, same thing. We got really great germination. And I believe that we are seeing a ton of those roots that actually made it through which I'm so happy to see that because red garden amaranth, like I said, is very delicate. And sometimes the root structure it puts off can be very weak. So the fact that it made through the paper towel is really great to see. Now on to our last two trays, which is our Swiss chard and our cilantro. And these are the two that we're still waiting to take from being out underneath the weight. And so far we're not quite there. This one is looking a little chaotic and this is our Swiss chard, which I'm gonna actually remove this now. It did germinate and it actually germinated much better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> um, it does look very crazy because there wasn't any weight actually touching the seed, which meant that they didn't have enough pressure to push them down into that paper towel and actually allow the roots to go through it. So what we're seeing right now is very little root structure on the bottom, but we're seeing all this craziness on top. And that tells me that we just need to make a few minor changes. And I kind of think that this might've been a slight fail here with the paper towel for Swiss chard, but I am happy with our germination. Now on to 
the last tray, which is sticking a little bit, our cilantro, I think we got amazing germination going on here. I'm actually extremely happy with this and a little bit surprised on how well this is looking. But I think just like the Swiss chard, we're not seeing a whole lot of that root structure actually going through this, which is gonna be problematic whenever these are ready to be bottom watered because they're not gonna be able to access that water on the bottom. Well, you guys, that is it for this experiment. This was a germination trial meant to just see how well we could get germination on paper towels. Now for this experiment, I believe that we did a really great job because we did see germination across all of our trays including two crops that are actually very tricky sometimes. Now to quickly recap, I wanna talk about what worked and what didn't work. Starting with what worked, our broccoli tray worked extremely well. We got amazing germination and overall, I think this tray looks perfect. Same with our red garden amaranth. Our red garden amaranth got better germination on the tray than I actually expected and it was able to drive those radicals and roots into the paper towel which I'm still just blown away by and really impressed with red garden amaranth at this moment. Now on to the things that did not work. It was kind of like a mix here because we did get germination on both the Swiss chard and the cilantro but it wasn't able to drive those roots and radicals through the paper towel and into the bottom, which like I stated earlier in the video, that can cause problems whenever we are at the stage of bottom watering because they are not going to get that water that they need and you're going to run into very bad issues like roots drying out and other things like that. So overall, I think that this entire test was actually a great success and I did learn some things about our crops that are harder to grow. The only thing I have to do now is just figure out a better way to grow them on paper towels so that way they can actually drive those roots and radicals into the bottom and get the great success that we got from these two trays over here. I would love to hear if you guys have any tips or tricks on how you grow your cilantro or your Swiss chard on paper towels and maybe actually get them to drive those roots and radicals through to the bottom. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. And also we have a Facebook and an Instagram that are both at On The Grow Farms. And we have a website that is www.onthegrow.net. Thank you so much and keep on believing.